Hello, I'm Robert with Robert Monroe website design and development. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to use Visual Composer with Dynamic Website Builder to get full width rows. Now, full width roles and dynamic website builder have been problematic. People have offered solutions through plugins or custom page templates and CSS. What I've found is that none of the plugins, page templates, or CSS that I've come across work well, and I'll explain why. So, to start off with, I have a basic dynamic installation with Visual Composer. I've also installed Genesis Dam Buster here, which is a plugin to help you get full width rows in Genesis themes. It also has some other nice features. To solve the problem of using full width rows with Visual Composer and Dynamic, people have also offered elaborate solutions with page templates and all kinds of CSS. The good news today is I'm going to offer a very simple solution that takes care of the problem. So here I am in the edit page for the home page and I have the default template selected and I'm going to use the back end editor and I'm also going to select the layout without any sidebars. So I'll update this. So I'll load up one of the Visual Composer default templates that come with the plugin. Select one of the default templates and I'll scroll down here and I'm going to choose the landing page. Just click on it. Click on this plus sign here and it'll load up the template. So let's have a look at this in preview. And we can see here we have some images with some text under them. What I'll do so we could see the actual width of these rows is apply a background color to the rows. So let me come in here and I will select the color. Anything will do. So let me just select this blue here. Save changes. And let's have a preview look at this. And we can see that we have a blue background applied to the roll, but it's not going full width. So let's go in and look at the options available to us. So when I look at this row here, I'll edit the row. And it's default, which means that it will extend to the content width of your of your page and right now my full width content layout here is set to 1060 which means that this blue area here is 1060 pixels but I want to extend the background of these rows to full width so let's go back into the edit page and let's change our row setting here to stretch row now what this means is that this blue area here should stretch all the way across the screen and your content should stay contained within your content width that you have set for your for your website design. We also have some other options here which is stretch row and content which means that the row background is going to stretch all the way to the edges of your website and the content will as well. And I'll show you what that looks like in a bit. And then we have another option here which is stretch row and content no paddings which is what you want to use when you want, for example, an image gallery where the pictures go all the way to the edge, this is the setting you would select. But for now, let's just let's just choose stretch row and see what that looks like. So let's preview our changes and have a look. It's the same. See, and that's the problem with Visual Composer and Dynamic. Dynamic has a built-in page builder template. And it works good for Beaver Builder, but it doesn't work good for Dynamic. Let me show you why. 
I'll select the page builder template. Let's preview that. And you can see here that the row has extended to the edges of the page, but the problem is so has our content. And in this situation, I don't want my content to extend the full width of the page, only the background of the row. So now I'll go back to the default template and let's try the Dam Buster plugin. So I'll go ahead and enable tweaks and, and I enabled full width page. So let's have a look at this. And it's the exact same problem all over again. Our rows have extended the full width, but so has our content. And in this situation, that's not what I'm wanting. So when I look at the Dam Buster plugin, it has an option here at the end. It's called Helper Classes. And what this does is it adds some CSS that if you apply the class name of inner to one of your columns, for example, you can constrain the content that is stretched all the way out to the sides of your pages to whatever you have set your full width content layout to. However, Visual Composer doesn't have the necessary markup to apply this inner CSS class. So I came up with a workaround in which I apply a nested row inside of a row. And let me show you how that works. So for example, here on the bottom, I'll add a row. Okay. And inside of this row, I'm going to nest another row. And let's make it three columns. Okay. So what we have here is the parent row, which will extend the full width of the page, and an inner row, which I'm going to apply this inner CSS class name to constrain my content to the 1060 pixels that I set inside Dynamic. So I'll go ahead and apply this. Let me scroll down. I'll give it this name of inner. I'll save changes. So now this inner row will be set to whatever I have here. Let me go ahead and change this to 1060. Okay, so that's 1060 now. So what I'll do so we can see this is I'll give this row a background color as well here in design options. And I'll choose different color this time. Save the changes. And I'm going to clone these elements here so I can drop them in here. Clone it, get it up in here, clone it again, get it up in here. And now let's preview this. So let me update my page and see what we got here. So there you have it. You have a full width row and the content is constrained, but I have a problem with this workflow. And that is that you're adding extra markup here and you're having to nest row inside a visual composer. And, and that starts getting complicated. And the more complex your layout gets, the harder it is to keep track of all of it. And you're adding extra markup and CSS, which is something that you always want to keep to a minimum. The less markup you have in CSS, the faster your pages are going to load. So one day, curiosity got the better of me. And I was looking at this problem and I, and I just wasn't satisfied with the, with the solutions available. And what really got me going on this is that I noticed that if I used only Genesis without Dynamic, the problem went away. Let me show you. So what I'll do is deactivate Dam Buster here and let's have a look at our page. So if you notice here, the first row that I made, we have full width row background and the content is constrained properly. So when we go in and look at the settings, if I were to do the same thing here, choose stretch row, give it a color, save the changes, update, 
let's have a look at our page and refresh it. You can see now that the background for the row is stretching the full width of the page and the content is constrained. And if we go in here and change these settings, let's say for example to stretch row and content, save changes, let's update, refresh our page. Notice that the content is now stretching the full width of the page. So the problem here is specific to dynamic because Visual Composer row options work perfectly inside of Genesis. So I'll go back to dynamic, activate it, and let's have a look at our pages again. You can see that the problem has returned. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a super simple solution to this that I came up with that enables Visual Composer row options to work perfectly. So let me go in and activate my front-end CSS editor, Genesis Dynamic Custom, Custom CSS, activate front-end CSS builder, save the changes. Let me go to my page here. What I'm going to do is drop in these few lines of CSS code right here. This is all you need to make Visual Composer's row options work perfectly inside of Dynamic. Let me copy and paste these. Pop this out. And there you have it. That's all it takes. Using these few lines of CSS code here is awesome. You don't need special plugins or page templates. When you are using this solution, you don't even need the page builder template. Just stick with your default template. And of course, use your layout without your sidebar for this. So now that I've set this up, let's have some fun with it. I'll go ahead and use Visual Composer's front end editor. So I'll add some images here. And let me set this to full size. And also the image alignment to center. Save. I'll do the same here. I have the image size set to full and the image alignment set to center, same as the first one. And I'll do the same thing here. Select an image. And this one's also set the same. So we have our three images here. We'll go into the row options here. So if I select default, you can see the effect here. Stretch row. Stretch row and content. You see that? And if I select the last option, stretch row and content, no paddings. You can see that the images extend all the way to the sides of the page. That's a very popular effect there. So let me go ahead and do something with this row underneath here. I'm going to add a background image to the row here. I'm going to make a parallax effect. I'll select the image, set image. simple parallax here. For the design options, I'm going to add some padding here. 200 pixels on the top and bottom. Save the changes and you can see what's happening here. And I'll set this one to stretch row.
I'll set this to H2. Let's make it bold. Save our changes. Let me set this text to white. I'll just do something simple. And there you have it, full width rows with visual composer and dynamic, the easy way. I'm Robert with Robert Monroe Website Design and Development. I build professional websites for your online success. I'm available to help you make your next WordPress project a smashing success. Thank you for watching this video.